everyone, welcome to my bookish corner of the world, I'm Angela. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out today's video, I really appreciate it. Today's video is a spoiler free book review of What Light by Jay Asher. There is just so much cuteness to be discussed. Before we get into the book review portion of this video, can we just acknowledge the book cover for a moment? I have never been so envious of a fictional character book cover portrayal in my life. Her eyelashes are perfect. Her eyelashes have the length, the little twirl at the end, they have the thickness. I have never been so jealous of eyelashes in my entire life, especially for a fictional character. I need to know what mascara this book cover designer had in mind when he created this picture. These eyelashes are something I'm going to have to aspire to for the rest of my life. Hashtag goals. I don't know where this particular book cover designer is buying their mascara or where they think she is buying her mascara, but I want some. So apparently I am jealous of a fictional character now. Our protagonist, Sierra, has two lives. She has her life at Christmas time, and then she has her life for the rest of the year. For the holiday season, her parents pick up and move out from their Oregon home to California to sell Christmas trees. Sierra has never minded this life, except this year she meets Caleb. What is a girl to do when she knows her relationship has an expiration date? Made even more complicated by the fact there are several rumors floating around about Caleb. I won't go too much into this rumor because I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I do think Asher did a really nice job executing that particular element of the narrative. The rumor was intense enough to scare away other potential love interests or other people in town, but yet also intense enough to spark some interest and debate and intrigue and give people a different sense of who Caleb is or what they think he is, which in turn leads to elements involving perception. Hint, hint, there is more to the story. At the beginning of the story, Sierra's friends were making this big deal about her leaving for the holiday season. I thought this was a really interesting way to key the reader into Sierra's eventual departure. I think this line of dialogue works really well for a YA novel. Once you go to college and you are separated from your friends for far longer than a month, you realize that this is not actually that bad, and so I think this line of dialogue reinforces the YA mentality. Because again, this is a YA novel, so I actually really liked that fact. And the reference to who wants a long distance relationship during the holidays is true, but that's not always an attainable goal. The characters came up as young in this way, but I thought that was really great because it is a YA novel. Given their ages in the novel, these conversations make a lot of sense. Her friends cared about her no matter where she was, but especially wishing her a happy Christmas. Yes, she had friends in two different locations, but it was not as if she had an A and B group of friends. They were just her friends. And so that made Sierra constantly likable, and it was nice to have her be able to interact with different characters in different ways, but yet still have this reinformed theme of friendship. Which I particularly enjoyed because this is a Christmas book, and having that kindness around you is great. I also have to give Asher credit for his writing, because he did not have this secondary character stereotype that he used for all of her friends. They each had their own distinct voice. It was not as if the friends were interchangeable. They each had their own unique sound to them. Heather had this running gag of almost breaking up with her boyfriend constantly to another friend wanting to be an actress. They had their own goals and different sets of problems. I did just want to mention this book is written in the present tense. I tend to prefer books written in the past tense, but once I started reading this story, it could have been done in the past, present, or future. I just really wanted to read it. Caleb entered our narrative very early on, and once he entered the story, I was not putting this book down. I was going to finish this. The writing is clever, it is witty, it is quick, and I loved it. The writing had me genuinely caring about the outcome for Sierra and Caleb. Whenever a scene comes to a close but there's not a chapter ending, there's a little Christmas tree to signal a change of scenery. Little touches like this truly make this a perfect Christmas read. I try to conceal any uncertainty about next year. And what if I don't want to hang out with you next year? His face shudders and I immediately regret it. I had hoped for a sarcastic comeback, but instead I scramble for a way to recover. I mean, what if you don't have any teeth next year? You have that addiction to candy canes and hot chocolate. He smiles and opens his door. Tell you what, I'll brush my teeth extra well all year long. The heaviness falls away. This writing is simply beautiful. You can picture everything in crystal clear detail and it is amazing. The writing, characterizations, dialogue, setting, it was all extremely well done. I really love and care about Sierra and Caleb. If you're looking for a quick, sweet, clean, holiday-themed romance, this is your book. There are Christmas carols, holiday chocolate, candy canes, Christmas trees, and love. This is easily one of my favorite Christmas reads so far. What Light is not only a great Christmas book, 
It is just simply a great book. You will enjoy it no matter what time of year you read this in. Jay Asher, you earned the five stars. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below in the corner. This way you see all my future posts. Also be sure to check out all my social media links down below. I update them frequently, sometimes a little too frequently. <laughs> but this way you can stay in touch with me no matter what. I hope you find your perfect Christmas read this holiday season. What light was certainly mine. Have an amazing reading day and happy holidays.